In this video, we will see how shop floor activities are configured, how we can print their barcodes, and how they are used in Shop Floor Insight. I will start by navigating to the Shop Floor Activities page. Okay, here we see the list of Shop Floor Activities. Um, there are a number of flags or checkboxes at the top that we can see. Um, there are two activities here that I will be using in this demonstration. The first one being what we would call a non-productive activity for a meeting. We will see that this line here, if I can select it, does not have the checkbox for the production order number required. That means that it is an activity that is outside of regular production. The other activity that I wish to use is the rework engineering activity. This activity does in fact have the checkbox for the production order number required. I now wish to print the barcodes for all of these activities. Let's do that. I will navigate to the generate barcode sheet. And this will allow me to select my activity and print it. Okay, here we can see the listing of activities and their corresponding barcode. I can now print this off and we can now start using this in Shop Floor Insight. Let's have a look. I'll first start by clocking in with my employee. Depending on the version of Shop Floor Insight that you have, you may have the activity button that is here. We can see it on screen in this situation. Now, given that I've printed the barcode for the activities, I can simply scan the barcode for the meeting. Okay, in this case, it is the toolbox meeting. Um, now, if I was to click on this activity button here, you will see that we do have the meeting and toolbox meeting activities here. However, we do not see the rework engineering one because that one requires a production order number. Let's clock on a production order operation. I will take one operation here, clock on it. Now, if I click the activity button, you will now see that there are additional activities that are now visible, including the rework engineering. Of course, being that Shop Floor Insight is a barcode driven app, I will simply scan my rework engineering activity. We can see that we, I've actually scanned by mistake the rework sales activity. Um, and there we are. What has this done in shop in business central? Let's have a look. I will now navigate to the time card and we will now see the two time card lines that we have created. We can see the related activity code here. And in this case, we can also see the activity description. That is how we use shop floor activities. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.